Ref never saw it. Referee, that hammer to the ankle behind the referee's back. I mean, pretty much if you've watched the series since the beginning, you've been following along. Mm -hmm. It's the same old, same old. It's getting old. You've seen one, you've seen them all. These guys getting away with using a hammer every single match. They're all like pretending like you haven't seen it. Got the same referee every single match. There's one constant. It's that there's a hammer, and then Rick Knox is always there, conveniently not seeing any of it go down. I think it's about time we changed it up a little bit. We flipped the script so that everything's in our favor. We're not gonna cheat to win. We're here to prove that we're the best trio in all of professional wrestling. Oh, he's gonna roll! Oh, he's tapping oh, out. Oh, my God. To do that, we have to hold those belts. To do that, we have to win this series. And hey, I'll give it to you guys. You've cheated this entire time to get every single win that you've gotten. When we've won, we didn't need it. Oh, the knees got up into the face of Pack, and he can't one, get that. One, two, you don't have to. Three. Oh, Woo. they won it. So hey, you guys want to play by your rules, which happens to be no rules? We're happy to oblige. But let's just make it so that the referee's a non-factor. Let's make it so he's not even an issue. Let's make it so that all weapons are legal. We can do that too. We are sick of playing by your rules. So let's just make it so that there aren't any rules at all. The next match, the one where you guys can take it all. Let's make it no DQ. How you feeling, man? Not good. Yeah. But a no DQ sounds very good to me, doesn't it, huh? How you feeling, Matt? It's terrible. I feel like I let you guys down. I feel like it's, no teams ever really come back from a 3-1 deficit. I don't, I, I don't know how I feel. Jesus. I feel good. For God's sakes. 3-1 deficit? Yep. You say it's never been done? I'm gonna prove that wrong. Cavs, Warriors, 2016. LeBron James did it. 3-1 deficit. The elite can do it. Let's do this and read it and mother effing weep. For those of you guys that don't watch sports, he's the guy that's starting Space Jam. FTR's legacy is dying! And we will not stop until the guns are the ones who kill it! Let's start from the beginning. Whoa. Yeah, when we met them, in 2013, when we went to visit my dad, there's something that I always remember that Dak said to us. We just came from the gym, we're wearing tank tops, and dad was gonna kick us out. And Dak said, you know, we're allowed to wrestle in our underwear, but we can't wear tank tops. Yeah, it was kind of ironic, but like fast forward, when we got in the business in 2020, we were never allowed to watch wrestling as a kid. So when people bring up certain dates and certain matches that are their favorites, we have no idea. We're just naturally gifted at this sport. I think we've made it pretty clear that uh, leaving a legacy in professional wrestling is our biggest goal. Every day at practice, me and Austin yelling at each other, fluid like FTR, manhandle your opponents like FTR, work together like FTR, but most importantly, win like FTR. There's an obvious difference between the gun boys and FTR, right? They're very flamboyant. Uh, I wouldn't call us flamboyant. They got glitter and they got sparkles and they have great looking gear. I wouldn't say that we have any of that stuff, okay? Why not look up to the best tag team in the world? Mm. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. You've dressed up like us in the crowd. You've actually physically restrained me from interfering and saving our match for the number contendership against Swerve in our glory. And now, after the most grueling match of our career, which you guys apparently lobbied for, you want to jump us from behind? Because you're that desperate for attention? You're that desperate for any sort of relevance? Just taking advantage of a precarious situation! You know what that is? That's the world's smallest violin. Playing for no one gives a How low do you have to be? There's two obvious differences. One are here for the entertainment, one's here for the ass kicking, and I'm here for the ass kicking. You want to get rid of our legacy, okay? Yeah, maybe maybe the legacy is coming to an end, okay? I don't know. Maybe the final chapter of FTR's legacy is coming to a close. But I sure as hell will not let a couple of ass boys, Billy Gunn's sons, be the one that closed the legacy on our career. No flips, just fists. And I guess, what's that thing they say? When one legacy dies, mm. another one has to begin. There's been a couple of kids with daddy issues in the back trying to get our attention. 
it's oh we have this belt and this well, they, belt and this belt and this belt <laughs> this belt and the AAA and the IWGP and we're going to defend it in London and we're going to the Tokyo Dome none of that matters to the guns because the most prestigious belts in wrestling today are the all elite tag team belts and guess who does not have them Ooh, I got the answer FTR. Bingo. And then you went to find gratitude and satisfaction in winning every other single belt around this world. Congratulations. But the craziest thing is that we've told everybody that would listen that the ass boys are the future of the tag team division. They're the future of tag team wrestling. You guys have everything, every tool. You're charismatic, you're talented, beyond belief. You have genetics like nobody's business, but yet you always want to take the shortcut because everything is always been handed to you because of your dad. What the hell? What? Austin and Colton Gunn! We know what we deserve in this business, and it wasn't getting done with Billy Gunn or the Acclaim, so joining the firm has now set us on a road to success. I mean, what have we done Look since joining the firm? We're an eight-man tag on that. Eight-man tag? We're finally facing Facing the best tag team in the world. Yeah. Allegedly. We went to New York Fashion Week. I just had to throw that in. <laughs> we are sitting in front row. The guns. VIP. 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 That's, what, what, that's what happens when you're That's the firm. what the firm will do for you. So Austin, Colton, if it's our contention you want, you've got it. This week, Dynamite, FTR, you want to try to kill our legacy, we'll be there. There's going to be no interference. It's us against you. And we're going to show you that the little brother came to play the new FTRs, the new best tag team in the world. Mm -hmm. And we're going to beat you straight up, straight down the middle. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is it. This is the final chapter of your legacy and the beginning of the new book of the guns. This match with the ass boys, it ain't the most important match of our career. It ain't even close to the most important match of our career. But it is the most recent. Oh, this is what I'm doing for my family. This is what I'm doing for this business. This is what I'm doing for me and Cash's legacy. And at the expense of my wife and daughter, I'm gonna have to show up to Dynamite. Uncle Dan's gonna have to show up to Dynamite Wednesday night. And ass boys, I hate to call you ass boys, but ass boys, we're gonna beat your ass. No more comedy. No more poking the bear. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. And we're gonna win. We're gonna fight. And uh, we're gonna win. Top guns, out. Top guys, gone. <laughs>I know people can see the hard hitting style in Japanese Joshi style, but more than that, I learned from Japanese legend like Aja Kong, the most important thing is strong heart. And this is what will take me back to the AEW Uma's type. A strong heart? Is that what you really need in professional wrestling? A strong heart? Let me tell you something, Shida, and you should know this. In professional wrestling, you need a strong mind. You need a strong body, and you need a pair of strong hands. Jamie Hale, she's tough. She's a great wrestler. I respect her, but she is not a history maker. I am. You were a great champion. And let me reiterate the word. You're not champion of AW right now. And after this match, you're not going to be. I'm sorry, but I'm going to embarrass you and make you eat your words. On Dynamite, Jamie Hader, I will take back AW Uman's title in I will show you why I have the strongest heart in AEW. Oh, isn't that lovely? Strong heart. Well, Hikaru Shida has a chance to become a two-time AEW Women's World Champion. On Dynamite, every single person in that arena is going to be buzzing when inevitably Jamie Hayer retains the AEW Women's World Championship.